Good morning, everyone. I am presenting a paper on disseminated cystic sarcosis, a rare case report. Introduction Human cystic sarcosis is an important cause of epilepsy and neurological morbidity in developing countries. The cystic sarcosis is caused by the cystic sarcosis cellulose, a larval stage of tapeworm, tinea solium. The commonest form is neurocystic sarcosis. Cyst occur especially in the striated muscles, subcutaneous tissue, and the nervous system and the eye. The cyst sarcosis becomes symptomatic almost exclusively in the nervous system and the eye. Case presentation: The 35-year-old uh, male presented with one episode of convulsion and ulcer sensory history of poor intake occasionally. Then we did a uh, CT brain plane, which shows multiple subcentimetric lesions with eccentric calcified foci, suscity of scoliosis, and are noted scattered diffusely in bilateral, cerebral, cerebellar hemispheres, including GC region and ventricular system, rectal muscles of the eye, skull, all paravertebral neck muscles, and posterior one third of the tongue. Here we can see the cyst in scoli uh, scoliosis in uh, cerebral, cerebellar hemispheres. Here we can see the cyst in ventricular system, and here we can see the cyst in recti, recti muscles, which appears here and in cerebellar region. And we can see the cyst in paravertebral neck muscles and posterior one third of the tongue. Here we can clearly see the cyst scoliosis in uh, uh, recti muscles in paravertebral neck regions. And we did the MRI brain plane plus contrast of this patient and which shows uh, the uh, hypo-intense or iso-intense lesions on flare over here in ventricular system or in, in skull. You can see many cysts in both, both the hemispheres of cerebral and cerebellar hemispheres in, and in reptile muscles and in skull region. Here we can see the multiple uh, cysts in reptile muscles on the both eye and posterior one third of the uh, tongue muscles and recti and paravertebral muscles. On MRI, it shows multiple thick walled cystic lesions noted in both cerebral and cerebral hemispheres, including uh, ganglothalamic and bilateral lateral ventricles, which appear hyper intense on T, T2 weighted images and hyper intense on T1 and flare, shows restriction mm -hmm. on DWI, no blooming on CRE. The uh, lesion shows peripheral ring enhancement on post contrast study with central non enhancing component. The similar morphological lesions noted in scalp region, both orbits, inferior temporal fossa, and tongue and neck muscles. Diagnosis may be cyst uh, disseminated cystic sarcosis. In case discussion, the neurocystic sarcosis is the most common parasitic infection of the brain and the leading cause of epilepsy in the developing world. The major forms of neurocystic sarcosis are parenchymal, ventricular, subarachnoid, spinal, orbital, ventricular, basal system locations are considered to be malignant form as the mortality rate is high in the hydrocephalus if hydrocephalus is present. The extensive involvement of brain, eyes, muscles, spinal cord, and subcutaneous tissue is rare. The extraocular cyst are a slow-growing tumor or a nodule with focal inflammation. If our in our patient we had a cyst in rectus nodules but did not have any ocular complaints. The cyst in muscles may manifest as in muscular pain, weakness, or pseudohypertrophy. The subcutaneous cystosarcosis is frequently asymptomatic but may manifest as in palpable nodules. MRI is considered the best neuroimaging tool for radiological diagnosis of neurocystosarcosis with advantages of being able to differentiate the stages of parasite. The stages of neurocystosarcosis. Uh, there are four stages. In, uh, first one is uh, in first the pathological stage uh, stages, developmental stages, vesicular stage. There is no surrounding edema or there is no enhancement. MR shows that cyst is iso intense to CSF and the scolex is discrete and nodular hyperintense, which appears as a target sign, target region. The enhancement is typically absent. In colloidal stage, the cyst is hyperdense to CSF. On CECT and demonstrate ring enhancing capsule on CECT. 
MR shows that the cyst is cyst is hyper intense to CSF on T1 weighted images, and the scolex appears hyper in, hyper intense on flare with surrounding edema. And the enhancement of the cyst wall is typical. In granular stage, there is there will be mild residual edema with enhancing nodule, and nodular or faint ring like enhancement is typical. In nodular or calcified stage, the nodule without without surrounding edema, a calcified lesions appears as Hypo intensities on T1 and T2 weighted images and blooming on GRE. The management of neurocystosarcosis includes antiparasitic drugs like alvandazole, tuzicantol, anti seizure prophylaxis, and symptomatic medications. Thank you.